Hello and welcome to Beauty Diaries. My name is Namure Ejemiya. In the fashion industry, most of us women now wear clothes because of our different sizes or shapes. Some of us may not know the right clothes to wear or because it is in vogue, we just want to wear it. Now there are different types of, there are different figures uh, that will fit into different clothes. If you're going to work, if you're dressing casually, if you are going to a party, which is very important. And um, over the years, we've come to learn that we have different body types and we have to dress according to our body types. So on Beauty Diaries today, we'll be talking about what suits your body type, what kind of clothes do, should you wear uh, based on your body type. Are you plump? Are you, are you slim, petite? Um, on the plus side, yeah, all of that we'll get to know on Beauty Diaries today. Welcome, when we come back, I'll be introducing you to our guests. Stay tuned. Beauty Diaries. You're welcome back. My guest today is a fashionista. She is someone that um, will style you if you really want to. I will style you very well. Uh, she, she's passionate about what she does. She's dedicated and um, she knows what's, what you need, you know, uh, colors, um, shapes, all of it. Okay, don't mind me. Let me introduce our guest today. <laughs> Mrs. Sudwak and your film. Thank you so much for coming on Beauty Diaries. And it's a pleasure to be here. This is Sudo Akane of Yongongzo Boutique. And over the years, she's been able to style a lot of people. And also, she's taking particular attention to the different um, sizes. So you walk into a shop, you're a size 22. Yes, you have something to get there. You walk into a shop, you are a size 14, 16, 12. So the variety is there already and you're sure of getting something stylish and good. How has it been, you know, doing all of this? You've been passionate about, I read about you, so I know <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so how did you come about having a boutique and, you know? Coincidentally, I actually wanted to be a fashion designer. That means designing clothes, not just um, selling clothes, you know, but um, you know how it is in those are days. My mother wanted me to get, go get a proper education, quote unquote, yes. and all that. So I ended up not going to London Fashion School. So after my first degree, you know, I worked a bit uh, with the uh, federal government. And then six years after, I knew that that wasn't for me. So, but I've been selling all my life, practically. I've been selling since I was um, in university. When I went for a year abroad program, I was um, buying, um, African fabrics from Lume to sell in Nigeria, yes. So, and then after I migrated to Cameroon, I'll go and get fabrics from there, shoes. And then I used to buy from wholesalers, you know, and gradually one day I said, you know what, let me face this full time. And um, I've been doing this officially since 2006. Interesting. Yes, unofficially since maybe nine, 97 about that's good because the, some of us are scared of buying and selling we just get scared of okay some people we owe us some we not pay but once you have the, the zeal it's something you can easily conquer am I right yes the thing is that over time you will get to know your customers so you get to know the people that okay you can say pay two three times a, a, you know two months three months you know and then there are people you're strict with i mean if i don't know you i'm not you're not going to walk into my store and take something away or even put it on hold or i just have it on hold when you finish making the payment and you pick your items so um you have to be strict i've been called many names in that <laughs> yes so you you really have to know your onions even not at the end of the day you find your money scattered out and then you don't have stock in the shop and then people are owing you and then you, you end up quarreling with so many people and then making enemies. And then your business closes. Exactly, down. exactly. So you have to be firm, friendly, but firm mm -hmm. about what you're doing. Now, how did you decide on getting the different um, types of clothes for, um, you know, it's not every boutique you go to that you see some, of, some, some clothes, okay? Uh, I know people have a unique selling point 
that own people that owns boutiques they have a unique selling point because like you said they know their customers so when you're picking clothes you have you know um, people in mind, people in mind yeah. that, that that will make your clothes sell fast now let's come down to styling styling clients styling anyone that walks into this place I may come in and pick up a dress and I, uh -uh, that's not good for you you need to pick up this because of the color okay I, I, I'm answering my question <laughs> <laughs> okay let me come in there over the years I have found that um, in Nigerian women are basically plus size we are more plus size meet from size 12 14 US 12 14 up and above and um, it was difficult to get trendy things for plus size women and 70% of my clientele were plus size you know so I would um, I started by attending fashion shoes I do a lot of fashion shoes and then um, when you're there so it's like when anything you're finding in america during summer spring summer mm -hmm. i'm having it here at the same time because i must have shopped for it the year before or mm -hmm. seasons before yes mm -hmm. like i'm attending a fashion show in september mm -hmm. now i'm attending in september but it's not going to be showing till next year i'm not going to have those things till next year february march that's when it starts coming coming into store mm -hmm. so i'm able to predict what we're going to wear for next year summer next year spring and all that same thing for autumn we don't have autumn hair so okay so most of the manufacturers work ahead yes they do six months eight months ahead yes oh so some clothes just think i vogue now no 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 they've already yes yes a lot of things that will come into my store especially from the u.s i've attended shows the year before or maybe earlier in the year if i'm attending a february show then those things are coming in for the holidays okay. they start coming in for o october november december they have that in mind. We do holidays. They have autumn, winter. Yes. And then we do holidays. We also have holidays also, you know. And then so you're attending a show for September, October. That is going to be showing the following year, spring, summer. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's a, some good information there. When we come back, we'll be talking about uh, styling, how to style the different body types. So you get to know the color that suits you and some dresses you must not wear. You stay tuned. You're welcome back. Now let's talk about body types. How do we know, how do I know my body type? How, how do I style myself? Like you, Namare, you're apple. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're apple, you're big up, and then you have a, a small um, back. Awesome. Also, yes, you know. So for you, you you do very well with fabrics like silk. It flows on your body. You know, skinnies are perfect for you. Ankle neck, skinny jeans. Oh really? Yes, skinny jeans, leggings. Yeah. They are perfect. That's what I'm wearing right now. I'll be I'll, I'll be styling. I'll be I'll do some. You know. They are perfect on you. And then you can go up shoulder if you want. Yes, you know. That's it. So you try to wear um, things that. Um, emphasize, I mean, emphasize on your body type, you know. Now for the pear-shaped, the pear-shaped woman has a big rear, and then she's small up. She can do almost any kind of top. Yes, she can do frills. You can't do too many frills. No. The apple, she can't do too many frills. Yes, reduce what you're wearing on the top of part of your body, you know. But the pear shape can do anything she can do. Um, spaghetti sleeves, almost anything on the top part. And then on the body part, try to stay slim on the body part. You understand? Or A-line skirts do very well on them. Now for the apple, flat skirts, gathered skirts, bring you as then you can now wear a slim top, you know, and then a gathered skirt. And then clinch the waist. I like to clinch the waist. What if I have a big stomach? Except you have a big stomach. Even if I wear my t -shirt. <laughs> we'll come to that. Okay. Yes, we'll come to that. So usually I tell women, even um, for the pear-shaped or the hourglass, mm -hmm. now we're migrating to the hourglass, oh, the hourglass can figure, figure eight. eight. Mm -hmm. The hourglass can wear almost anything. She can get away with anything. Now, before I say that, for the, um, for the pear-shaped, it's better when, when you're wearing pants or, or leggings, you know, Leggings not so good because it just emphasizes everything, you know. So they are better with boot cuts. 
straight legs. It emphasizes their shape and it makes them look taller and all of that. And it doesn't emphasize on the hips too much because there's a boot cut going all the way down. But for the hourglass, almost anything goes, depending on what you're comfortable with wearing. So you can wear skinnies, you can wear anything that you want to wear and then clinch the waist. You know, there's something about clinching the waist. I like belt a lot. My mother loves belt, you know. So it just, an accessory, there's something an accessory does to a dress. Belts, scarves, you just throw them on and then it just makes a whole difference to what you're wearing. Now we have the athletic body, you know. The athletic body also can go away with almost anything, you know. Straight, skinny, anything almost flows with them. But the hourglass is the better. Most Nigerians are between a pear-shaped and hourglass. It's just that our hourglass, so many times, you still have a bit of a, you know, tummy bulge around the tummy area, you know. So, but you can almost do anything, you know. Now, we'll, let's progress to um, something I like to talk about, though, because I have people come into the shop and then they're wearing something and I'm, I'm like, we should wear a body shaper. And they're like, I don't like wearing body shapers. And I said, even if you're a size two, there are clothes you wear. You need a body shaper. There is a fit it gives, you know, that ordinarily if you're not wearing a body shaper, it just, it just looks shabby, you know, and all that. So body shapers are very important. The, the bra you wear is very important. It brings out, there's what, what it also does to the, the clothes you wear. So undergarments are also very important in styling, you know, because it just accentuates what you are already wearing. Okay, interesting. Now let's talk about um, examples. Going for a dinner, office, casual. Like I'm casually dressed right now. I have an oversized shirt with the leggings. Okay. Um, let's start. The style was plus size earlier. So let's talk about um, how you can style yourself or wear different clothes. We'll be talking about that too when we come back from the break. Stay with us. Beauty Diaries. In our past episodes, we told you about CBD oil. CBD oil, technically known as cannabis oil, is a hot topic at the moment. Lots of health claims are made for it and studies by the score are on the way to substantiate them. But the earliest claims were that CBD oil helped relieve anxiety without side effects. CBD is a type of cannabinoid, a plant chemical found in hemp. Now I know you're thinking hemp, so let me clear this right away. Yes, CBD is derived from hemp, but no, it does not make you high. It's true that hemp is the cousin of marijuana, and marijuana contains THC, which is psychoactive, but hemp is the poor cousin. It has nearly zero THC. That's why its main purpose or prior use was to make rope. Interesting. CBD was first identified and extracted in 1940. It wasn't until decades later. However, researchers discovered the body's endocannabinoid system, a series of signaling receptors that help regulate mood, immune system responses, with that very important in the inflammatory cascade, sleep, pain, and more. CBD and other cannabinoids interact with EC's receptors, influencing messages sent to the nervous system, organs, and cells. A lot to learn from CBD oil. Next week, we'll be telling you how CBD works. Now, you want to know more about CBD? Follow me online and uh, we'll talk more. You can send your mails to beautydiarieswithnamuri at gmail.com and follow us on our social media platforms. We'll be willing to educate you more. But this is our health segment and that's how we run it off. Thank you. Beauty Diaries. Now let's talk about the plus size. I, I sometimes... I don't know, I'm a critic when it comes to most of these things. I see a, a, a big lady dressed up and I'm, I'm just saying, oh, I just wonder, mm -mm, that's not the right thing for her to wear to work. Or she comes to a party and she's wearing something a slim girl is wearing. What, what can a, a plus size person wear in all of this? That's still where the body 
shipper comes in, and then fabrics. There are fabrics that uh, uh, a plus size shouldn't even wear at all, except maybe like a t-shirt fabric, especially you're wearing a t-shirt on top. Mm -hmm. So you see some plus size people wear t-shirts all, all the way down and go to work. That is a no-no. When you say t-shirt all the way down? Like, that's the fabric. The t-shirt fabric. The t-shirt okay. fabric. A jersey. Like a jersey, mm -hmm. you know, and then they have it all the way. They have them in gowns, yes. you know, and then you okay. wear that to work. Everything is going to be showing. And it's not appropriate. There is a dressing for the workplace. There's a dressing for a day. You're just going for a day thing. Like this is a day thing, yeah. you know. There's a dressing for night. And then there's a dressing for a party. Some people, you know, don't know how, when to wear the party. And then when to wear the day. And all of that. And then just mix up everything. So if you walk in here and you tell me, I, I want to start. First and foremost, I'm asking you, What's the occasion, number one? Number two, your personality is very important. In fact, for me, number one is your personality. You, you have to have a personal style by yourself, even before you walk in here. There are things that not really you like to wear, you understand? And then, so I take all of that. What's your career? So what's the event you are going for? So I take all of that into consideration before telling you, okay, this is what I think best suits, best suits you. You know, and there's some clothes we have day to night. You can fly off for the office yeah. and you can just throw something on in the night and then just accessories and then just get it on for the night. So it just depends. They are, they are, they are, and then there are things you wear for casual. And then you shouldn't take that to the workplace also. But you see some people all blinged up, some sequins dresses and then they're going to work. It's a no-no. So we have different um, clothes for different occasions, different body types. Now that you said blinged up, you know we have a lot of Ankara dresses now, yeah. always blinged up. Yes, but that Ankara is a different, and we don't even wear Ankara every, every day, every day. Okay, like that. We yes, we don't wear Ankara every day like that. Mm -hmm. Someone who's working in a bank, for example, cannot wear Ankara on a Monday morning to work. So she is going to leave that for Thursday, Friday, that's where you're wearing the Ankara, yes. all blinged up. That's a different case, and that's our culture. So if you're bringing that, if I'm wearing an, an cast stone dress to, to church on a Sunday, that's, I'm good to go, but not on a Monday morning to work. Okay. So now let's talk about, um, the, apart, from the, apart from work, uh, you just talked about party as well, where you regards to underwears and all of that. How about um, a size 16? What can she, what can she wear to work? Uh, what can she wear, the kind of colors, uh, the kind of clothes she should wear? Okay, um, for work, you basically go with black, navy blue, dark colors. Mm -hmm. You know, dresses, if you're doing tops, depending on where you're working, there are some offices that have coats, you know, color coats for work. So you can, but you can fly in, if you're doing maybe a top and a, bla a skirt and a blazer, you can fly in something a bit jazzy on the top. And then basically for work, I usually would do pants, blazers. You can't go wrong with those pants, blazers, dresses. They are dresses that you can wear to work. In a lot of uh, uh, work items now are even becoming dresses. People are toning down except on blazers. People are doing more of work dresses now. Uh -huh. And then somebody types can go away with short cropped jackets. Some can just sit on your waist and then some need to go a bit further down. Yeah. So you have to also know which body type suits a particular blazer. If you are, if you are hourglass, for example, you know, you can wear any, almost any blazer, but something that will clinch your waist or is a bit huggy around your waist will accentuate, you know, what you're wearing. Okay. So how about a slim person or a petite um, lady? My sister is petite. So she made me, you know they have petite clothes. Yes, there are some clothes we see, you see P. Like yes, so we have petite clothes. And then um, basically people, women who are petite like to, they like to stick to skirts. Because even finding pants can be a bit difficult. And then a lot of times, you know, because dresses, they'll do dresses, but they have to do the seams and all that. Because most of the dresses are going to come too long for them, you know. So they want to work on the dress to bring the length 
up a bit exactly and make them look taller, you know. So, but um, petites, they can go with almost anything, basically, but it's just that you have to check your size. Get a good tailor, that's another thing. Every woman should have a good tailor that, if I'm buying something, I have a tailor here in the shop who comes in, I mean, we just call, I meant something because that's the way it is. You have to amend something a little bit here and a little bit, especially for the petite person. You know, you have to, if you're getting pants now and you're not getting a petite pants, because we're not going to stock so, many, so much yes. of that. That's the truth. Okay. I'm not going to stock so much. How many petite people are going to come in here and look for a petite pants? But if you have a handy tailor, the person comes in, you just call on the person, okay, can you slim this a bit for me and take the length down for me? So let's talk about, let's talk about shoes and bags. You know, matching this, this, all of this, you know, some of us do not like um, particular shoes. I, I can speak for myself as a, as a plus size. I would not wear um, pencil. a pencil heel, no. Yeah. I'd rather wear wedges or the, the block. The block. Yeah. Because so that takes your what, weight. What exactly. shoes, just let us go through um, knowing the right shoes to wear. You know. Basically, that, that is a comfortability. When you wear the shoes, you know what's comfortable. What's comfortable for you. You know, even though I'm not so plus, but I still want to wear platforms. I'm comfortable with platforms, you know. Even then we are high, but when once it's a platform, you can almost do anything with it. And same thing with plus size. Apart from block heel, you know, or wedges, you can do platform because platform gives you, there's an extra balance on the form, so you can do. It. And then slimmer people go for slim, for the pencil heel and all of that. We stock that. I'm not particular about it, but you know, I have to stop what every other person wants, you know. And then we do a lot of sleepers, bling sleepers, so, you know, Nigerians who like bling. We do. Yeah. <laughs> so we do a lot of sleepers and um, it's just what you're comfortable in, you know. Some people come here, I wear only low shoes, you know. So we, we must also stock that. You know, that's what they're comfortable with, that's what... But there are certain clothes, there are certain clothes that you wear and you need to come up a bit. Exactly. Yes. Especially if you're going for a dinner party and you're wearing a long evening dress, you're not going to come up with a low shoe or, or, or slippers. You have to wear sandals. Most times I tell people, sandals. Or we we'll all will cut across. Sometimes wear pumps will not look so nice. A sandal will almost get it right for evening. You know, so... That's it. And then pumps go mainly for work. Exactly. You know, pumps, yes, you know, for office clothes and all that. Okay. Now let's talk about casuals. Um, let's say casuals earlier or parties. parties. Let, let's talk about parties, uh, uh, probably, and then if we have time, we'll talk about casuals for the, body, the different body types. Um, party, it depends on, are you going for a dinner party? Let's use dinner for an example. Okay. Dinner party, um, a lot of times, um, if you're slim bodied, it's, um, we have evening wears that are for slim bodied people, you know, and then we also have the ones that are for plus sizes. Now, the ones that are for plus sizes shouldn't show too much of your midriff, mm -hmm. you know, you know, and then shouldn't be too clingy. Sometimes, when a, a dress is too clingy on you, it looks starty, mm -hmm. it looks like you're sending some other message so know what is just right for your body type now if you're also wearing a long mostly if i'm doing dinner parties i tell people you you can't be wrong about a long dress you definitely cannot be long it's elegant and then your makeup and your hair everything must be on point yes. you know and all that and a lot of blings sequin dresses so they are damask, they are, they are, they are clothes that um, will also sit, you have to physically see what I'm saying to understand, okay. that will physically fit a plus size person and another one for the slim person. And then for party parties, we also have, we are also showing that party party, you know, that there are the day parties, there are the night parties. There's also what you can wear for the day party. There are some that can go from day to night, yeah. you know. So, and then usually for me, I prefer to stay uh, so that I'm not overdressed, you know. In between. In between, <laughs> yes. In between, because you don't know what crowd you're going to meet there, you know. So, you, if you do, if you do um, a sweeping top or a poncho top, okay. you know, 
which is good for your body size. A poncho top and the leggings can go for a party. Very nice one, you know. That is not a dinner party now. Yes. Just a casual, casual party. And then casuals now, we're, we're wearing a lot of um, joggers, jogger sets. Yes, but it's not everybody that it fits. It depends. Yes, not everybody, but um, I would say 80% truly. Really. Okay. Yes. I would say 80%. Jogger sets are there. And then leggings, leggings have come to stay. They ain't going nowhere. You know. So leggings come to play a lot. Thank you so much, Mrs. Thank you, um, Namore. Young, uh, it's been a pleasure uh, allowing us in your space, talking about all of these things. Uh, if you have questions, the show continues on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Send in your questions, and I'm sure we'll be able to um, help you out. If you want us to have a live session on Instagram, we're available. Two of us will come on and talk more about that. Just send in your topics and we'll do so. I must say that you're looking beautiful. Of course, you're always looking beautiful. <laughs> uh, the color and everything suits you. If Thank you're you. are wondering what I'm putting on, she dressed me up. <laughs> so you don't get to see me all the time in my Ankara clothes. Yeah, that's not really <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And you're looking lovely. That just suits you. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to look for a party to go to. <laughs> Shoots like this. Okay, where's the next party? The party to go to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been fun hanging out with you on Beauty Diaries. My name is Namure Ejemioya. Remember, remain beautiful inside and out. Bye, have a lovely weekend.